hey guys welcome back to my channel and i hope you all are doing well and having good time with your family and friends and this is a video in which i will be sharing the process of drawing a simple outline especially anime as we all know we all are fans of anime and it will be a special video for all those armies here and also the fans of Chekko as we know that BTS has come up with a webtoon called as Chekko and it's a very good one you can look into that and this is a character from Chekko it is Jimin's character called as Haru and I really liked the character so I wanted to draw so we will start by drawing the grid lines it's the easiest way to draw the drawings but I recommend you do not depend on it completely and I will be sharing the various processes of drawing the outline this will be the first one of those series so you can see that I have taken a paper and measured the length of that paper. So the measure length of the paper was 21 centimeters. So I wanted to form the grid lines which are 10 in rows and col which are 10 in columns. So I will divide 21 by 10, 10 will get 2.1 so the length or the size of our boxes will be 2.1 approximately so sometimes when we start drawing the lines with a scale the lines go slant instead of being straight so I will give a tip to you instead of pointing the lines in one side you should mark the lines on both sides that is from bo both the ends and then try to join them as i'm doing here and the another careful step you have to take while drawing the anime or anything outlining that is the boxes size both horizontally and vertically should be same all the boxes should be of a square that is four sides are equal so I will be marking the 2.1 2.1 measurements both horizontally and vertically so you can see the reference here and if you don't get it on the internet I will provide the link below in the description you can download the reference from there and form the grids on that from the grid maker app So the simple step I will mark the points from both the ends and try to join them at 2.1 cm. So in this way we will form our grid sheet. So and also don't forget to subscribe and like my channel guys if you like the process please subscribe me so that I can come up with more videos in this way so now I am labeling the boxes as A0 1 2 3 4 5 and A B C D up to J and I will start the process from the eyes you can see that the eyes are located in D and E uh, they are not completely located in one box but in between those boxes so this is a careful step you have to take while drawing the outline that is you have to keenly observe that what are the parts the portrait is actually or the ref reference is actually consisting in the box so in this way you have to draw the reference from the reference by using the grid technique so the cheek is starting from the E and up to the G the tip of the chin is located in the G box that is in G3 and it's extending from there many people start drawing the reference from the head portion it's completely fine from wherever you start but I find it easy if I start drawing the reference from the eyes as I get 
an idea that how will my portrait will look after drawing the complete outline and I will go along with the flow as you can see I have started from the left eye and now I am at the head portion we will roughly draw these lines matching from one box to the another box so if you are um, an army then you will find various videos of pts on my channel and these are the narrator videos if you are a beginner you can find these videos very helpful to you as i narrate the process in it and also you don't need any expensive materials to draw i use the art line pencils you can see and also the paper i am using is just an card paper that we use for the printing of marriage cards so this reference the lips are not quite detailed it has only one curvature of the line which is the um, opening of the mouth so while drawing the eyes you have to mark the points of the eyes that is to analyze that how will the eyes are how are the eyes located in the reference because during the grid we will just look into the part or concentrate on the part which is we are drawing at that right time but even if you are using the grid you have should have an idea that how will the shape of the nose look like and how does the eyes positioned on the basis of the position of the face so in the next video next part of this video i will be sharing the process of painting this and if you like painting or want to learn a simple painting you can you can come into my channel again and probably it will be tomorrow so be in touch with my channel if you like the stuff i upload the tips of the hair are very pointed and also if you are going to paint this one you have to keep certain light marks with the pencil so that you can understand while painting that these areas are to be given the shade with the shadows so these areas should be darker than compared to the other parts if we talk about the tone of the reference it's mm, violet the tone is violet as the photo is from the night mode and the background is very sparkly with the stars it looks like a fairy tale so you can see that how i'm drawing from the reference I wanted to draw this as soon as possible.